And we are live! How's it going, everyone? It is me, Psycho Blue, conductor of the High Train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag Crosswires, hashtag Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It is time for the fourth and final game in this season's Crosswires Championship Series to begin. It is time for Marvelous Meetings, now revamped and powered by Machirino. If you are watching this, whether it be here on my Twitch at PsychoBlue9 or on YouTube a little bit later on NYC Furby, thank you. And just know that this is only the beginning. Today, we are going to crown not just the first winner of this season's Marvelous Meetings, but we will be having our groundbreaking of our overall league with this final event. We've already done one for Cross Tech. We've done one for TMNT Cross Justice League. We've done for Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Now it's time for Marvel Infinite. This is one of the games that made me form Crosswires to begin with. This is Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and I am always happy to support this game and to uh, put my voice and express my love on what you are about to see. Without further ado, let us begin. It is time to start our top eight. Team will be left standing. Winner, Soldier, and Arthur. What an opening. So, Jaco Man on the left with uh, standby of Ghost Rider Nemesis. Looks like we'll be seeing Chris or you today. And then we have Rodent Rob with Winter Soldier and Arthur. I guess I should be flattered that Jaco Man saves his best for Marvelous Meetings and the Gauntlet is where he experiments with other characters like Ryu and Chris. Good evasion. So this is actually really interesting. It's not often we see a Time Stone Mirror, but I can see the logic in both teams. Obviously, you have the setup stuff that Jigman likes to do, like you saw right there, the Fire Tornado. In the case of Winter Soldier Arthur, uh, that makes their screen span even more intimidating because they can just go right back to the other side of the screen once you find corner with them and start all over again. Uh, we got side switch combos. That's interesting. All right, you got the, all right, that's nice. Got the Uzi, he's got the bullets, and now it's good defense for Jaco, man. Arthur can be hard to pin down, especially with uh, his floaty double jump, but if you can get past all this, he's in big trouble. But that's also if. Good! Go oh, got the goal reflect, but he lost a little momentum there when he got hit by the stray spear. No worries, though. Nemesis got at least enough to put both Arthur and Winter Soldier in this bad situation. Besides, with just the right time, the birthday continues. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Fire Tornado, someone's going down. Might be both. Yeah, he got them both. That's it. Jaco Man is now up 1-0. Once more, this is the start of the revamped Marvelous Meetings. It is now part of the Crosswire Championship Series. I am now a verified partner of Matcharino, so I am obliged to tell you, one, donate to the Matcharino by clicking uh, exclamation point and Matcharino in the chat. And also, if you are not familiar with Matcharino, what it is, is it is a program and a company that allows streamers to have a donation pot open in their streams where players can not just not even players where spectators this is the spectator powered uh spectator powered money just donate however much you feel like if you are watching and that goes to the final pot and that goes right to the players and they would really appreciate anything you might contribute and probably in the near future, I will get sponsor quests up. That way you can donate to the Maturino without actually losing any money out of your pocket. Maturino, powered by the spectators and favored by the players. If you appreciate it, it's basically like supporting your favorite streamer. Now, there's always streamers who talk about, hey, don't forget to support me and they'll have like donation money up. But no, Maturino, this goes right to the players. Unless I'm competing, I don't see a cent of this. And that's exactly the way I want it. This is for the players who love the same game I do, who love the same games that you do. If you like these players, this is your way of supporting them. 
And if you like success, this is your way of supporting success, as it is a top three split today. Good to see you guys, Untamed Gaming. Be sure to donate to the match arena. That is Psycho Blue, the verified partner, trying to trying to beg as Jacob Man readies up and try to turn to a 2-0 lead before Roden Rob ties it at one. I will have to work on my pitch as a match arena partner, but for now, let's get back to this match. A strong start from Roden Rob so far. All right, so we said earlier that if you can corner Arthur, it's a problem, but that's also why Arthur functions so well with Limestone because that allows them a way to roll out of harm's way, CDS2 style, and start the zoning stuff all over again. This is a big screen, and both Winter Soldier and Arthur do love to fill this screen with all sorts of explosive items. Rodent Rob got himself a couple of fishies in his time to fillet them. Got himself a big one here. Will the swats connect? Yeah, there's varying degrees of visibility startup on that move where, depending what the angle was, Nemesis may or may not be hit out of it. It was actually really smart of uh, Rodent Rob to pop the storm. No, sorry, it was uh, Jacob Man popping the storm, but he used level 3 to kind of keep Jacob Man at bay. It was a smart move. Oh no, opened up! Thankfully, uh, no, this is still dead. <laughs> it's still dead. I'm about to say, at least now he had to spend bar for it. Uh, if the situation he was in before the time store ran out, that probably would have been a dead winter soldier. No bar necessary. Um, so verified tournament organizers can use a match arena, but right now I'm a partner, so all these events are partnered by match arena officially. I feel like I have proven my worth, and I'm proud of that. Let us see if Jakeman can prove his worth as Rodent Rob encroaches upon his position with a big life lead. The install right now for Arthur, he's got to do this all on his own in his jimmies. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting. It's tight right now. So Arthur is running for dear life, still in his underoos. And finally, Jacob Man sets this man on fire. Boom, ba boom, and there's the SWAT down. He's trying to keep as much as Paul Okay, now that life lead's gone. Now it's tight. Can he survive the mix? Good throw break. Sadly, it was all for naught as the fire tornado comes down just as he bounces away from Nemesis' grip. Jacob Man is now up 2 nothing. Sadly, Ibuki is not in this game, Homeless Dragon, but your attendance in the chat is all the same. Appreciated. Be sure to donate to my match arena if you've not done so. I've already donated $200 to the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Vortex Yard match arena. So I got you covered on that. Don't worry, Homeless. Okay. Ready. So right now, Rodent Rob, the good news is Rodent Rob is in winner's bracket. So if he goes down here, it won't be the end of his run. But you don't want to send Jaco Man into winner's bracket with all his momentum. Bane Hollow is already waiting for him. Bane Hollow and Jaco Man have been dominating grand finals in several offline, offline, uh, several online and offline tournaments. I'll say offline and offline. It's been offline before. This stream has had some problems today, but no worries. Good evasion. That was nice. That's the anime stuff right there. Arthur barely got harm's way, and oh, it's still going. Rodent Rob has Jacob Man locked down, but not locked down enough. Great punish. That was not safe on block whatsoever. No push block needed. He's throwing the noodles out. Level three. Nemesis has to take that head on. He has a lot of health to do so, but let's see if he can get out. There's a lot of red health he recover. Should have a chance to do so. But that's exactly what... Oh, good job stopping that in his tracks. So, when that super uh, screen is off, you can't counter switch out. So, good punish. Oh, not fast enough, though. So that bike is armored. Had Arthur used that sooner, he would have taken all the damage. And although armored through it, he wouldn't advance very far. This is a great round by Roden Rob. He got them both. This is it. Rodent Rob is 
not quite tied it yet, but it's looking pretty dire for Jacob right now. He's got to do this all on himself now. Can he catch one? He's going to use that fist and sandwiches him. Winter Soldier checks him out from behind. He is not impressed. Rodent Rob is now only down 2 1. That's what pushes me to be better. What if this game was on the Switch? That would be fantastic. Sadly, it is likely not to be. At the same time, who knows? They're announcing Rumblefish home ports. Anything's possible. Ready. Fight. All right, here we go. So Jacob Man's hope of a 3-0 advancement to winner's finals have been put to rest. Let us see if his winner's run in general will as well. Momentum's back on Rodenrov's side, but Jacob Man is intent on snatching momentum back in his favor. Great start for it. Ooh, that lingering jump like I said earlier, because of the low hops this game, the KOF short hops, that super jump and then hold down a suture in the air, and then you get that uh that KOF hop stuff. With Nemesis is particularly nasty due to his jump light kick. And his jump light does the exact same damage as other heavy jump attacks. Yeah, time stone's really cool, and it's nice to see a time stone mirror like this. All right, that's done. Take him as forward three to one. We are going to move on to losers' quarters now. Prevail. And yes, I'm aware if I, I can make slushies at home. Uh, and speaking of slushies, right now Kong's going to try and make Quebec into bloody slush. There is no blood in Mars Capcom Infinite. The bloody slush is just a figure of speech. Fear not, children, if you are watching this. As I do know, the Marvel world has a very broad appeal with many demographics. Demographics which include demons and demon hunters. Demographics which do not get along very well, as demons and demon hunters are apropos not to do. Given one is hunting the other, I'm sure the hunted does not appreciate having demon hunters or bounty hunters getting in their grill like this. Right now, Colin having a fantastic first game. This could be the end right here. Both teams remain, I think, is the setting. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. I did set it to both players remain earlier. Now it's done. Oh, maybe not. Dante got out, and he has a few pixels left and a prayer to try and turn this around. The devil trigger is activated. I do not know if it'll be enough. And bang, 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 the devil trigger has been pulled. And it was disastrous for Cyber Dante as Kong goes up one nothing. Eliminating the target, that's my job. Yes, I'm aware of how it works. I have made slushies at home with that formula. And they are very tasty. The only uh, caveat is that they make a huge mess when you open the bottle at first. Okay, here we go. So, Quebec is going to try and tie this up. Quebec has won a few of the Mobless meetings in the past, the non match Reno tie wins. We will see if he can repeat that with money on the line. And he's off to a good start so far. So, earlier it was all Colin, but Kabak has made some good adjustments starting the match out. You saw Gamora try to open up Dante there, but that was not considering the spell that Durbamo had placed. Green Dante going for a ride with a bad landing. Speaking of slush, time to freeze this guy solid. And he does sandwich between nunchucks in a hard place, and now you are sent to that hard place. A place that is shrinking, shrinking until the walls close in upon you, and down you go. 
but not much longer. Here comes the Soul Storm. Gamora trying to bring back her bounty hunting partner, but Scout Skadoodle, Cyber Thunder controls neutral with that sand heavy kick. Everything is going haywire right now. Good DP from Gamora, and gets to level three, piling on as much pain as possible in the attempt to turn this around. This is gonna be quite the uphill climb for Colin now as both Dante and Bora are short on health, and now there is the Cube of Shame into play, the Space Storm. Dante has been caught low, leaving Cyber Dante to nullify his Emerald counterpart, since the board was all on her own. Good luck with that. This is a pretty big deficit here for the Million Dollar Mix. Dante, Dur Dante and Dormammu just floating over Gamora's head like a specter. It's now tied at one. Good stuff, Quebec. <laughs> what would you like me to burn next? Favorite candy? I like blow pops. Blow pops are nice. I love gum, I love lollipops. Why not have both? They call me ready. Let us see. Oh, so Dormammu's coming in just before the match started. Only for Dante to tag right back in. I suppose um, the back wanted to play a little bit of mind games there with uh, Colin expecting a Dormammu start. Only to get a Dante instead. It's actually pretty smart uh, to flip script up people like that before the match again. It's like the meta beyond the meta. That's the real deep stuff. Because you can move around before the fight actually starts, um, having to reconsider what the point character's options are in that situation can actually work to your benefit. So good stuff, come back. A good raw launcher. So that raw launcher didn't really catch uh, the dark hole, but it did at least put a spell on Dormammu when he comes back in. If they make the most, yeah, make the most of those whip punishes. Colin has left some damage on the table with some of these scrambles, kind of missing some goal opportunities to catch somebody. Something else to keep track of in these scrambles, keep eyes on how quickly the opponent's partner tagged in or out. That way you can maybe catch them before they can retreat. And Reese's are a fantastic candy as well. That's my second choice, Bane Hollow. I actually don't buy Reese because of how addicting they are. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good. I like that. I like seeing people use uh, some of the more obscure command normals that Dante has. Like uh, the air shots like that. No, no! The best laid plans go to waste. He teleported only to get swiped by Gamora. And even though Gamora is being sent to the Shadow Realm, rest in peace, Takahashi. It's not going to keep her down for much longer. Because there is no storm to keep Colin from doing that. Level 3, nobody home. Right, there you go. Make some slush. My favorite treat, some slushies, especially this weather. Got the back getting nullified now. This is going back and forth. This is... Dormammu could try and do this all on his own, but he has to play flawless to do so. He's got the chaotic plane. He's probably going to follow up or some kind. Oh, good Oki! He has no choice but to counter switch. Gamora are going to try and survive this. Does not get swiped with a jump forward heavy kick. And another trap. Caught him again. Sent to the Shadow Realm once more. The back is now up 2-1. to one. Uh-oh, I went the wrong direction. There we go. Even Mundus troubles before the Great One. I don't think I've ever seen that win quote before. But that is something I really like about this game. And uh, 3 as well, how there are unique win quotes 
against people. It's like that in Cross Tekken as well. Everybody has their own unique win quote against each other. So you get to see interactions you wouldn't normally see. Like, nice seeing uh, the Mundus call out right there, even though this is uh, DMC Don DMC3 Dante, who hadn't quite has encountered with Mundus just yet. That was until DMC Woma takes place after DMC3. Although I doubt that uh, whoever is writing things is really paying that much attention. Good raw launcher. So Colin has switched to Nova and Morgan. So this is the team that Colin used only to go to Gamora Dante at the end. We will see if Nova has a better... Oh, that's smart. Good bust. Oh, no, but interrupted. Yeah, the bust out's only good if there's not that coming from this guy at the same time. Only the initial parts, because that's the whole thing. Nova has some fantastic supers all around. And so far, that supernova has led to a lot of benefits. Nice, good job. The Mindstorm does its work. Lots of meter for uh, Colin to work with, with Morgan and Nova. Dormammu, no choice but to counter switch out. I'm a big boneless wings guy. That's my favorite fast food. Zaxby's is like, uh, Z Zaxby's is a temple, I'll say that. I'm a big Zaxby's head. Nova's got to do this all on his own, trap the box, and level free time. The walls are closing in in this incredibly shrinking world. No time to pop a storm. Instead, it is right now raining death on Nova's head. I hear thunder, and there's the rain. No for the magic pixel, but not enough to escape Armageddon. Kabak moves forward three to one. Colin, it was good to see you, but our time together at Mavis Means is at an end. See you next time, I hope. I have been to Wingstop. I used to make that a necessary stop at Fall Classic before they put a Wingstop up here in Rich, Virginia. On the left, we have Hulk Poland with Hulk and Hawkeye. And on the right, we have G of Us El Matam with Strider Dante. We have the Heavy Artillery and we have the Nimble Ones. Let us see which approach is the winning formula here at Marvelous Meetings, the Maturino League, part of the Crosswire Championship Series this season. This is our first ranking battle and we are ready to engage in our next match. Ready. Oh, it's swatted out of the sky with forward light punch. That big arrow scrape. That's an underrated button. In fact, even though Hawkeye is a zoner, he has some fantastic buttons with great frame startup. I mean, he has a ridiculous crowd light pump as well. So to get swatted out of the sky like that with a forward light punch, that is pretty ridiculous. Such range on that move. However, as I was talking about how great that move is, really helped pull that much. Geovoss has put on a clinic, tearing apart this big body of red meat. They save too much red meat may cause cancer, and Hawkeye, his situation is actually terminal because he's got a soul stone. It's time to bring Hulk back from the dead. Red Hulk, a.k.a. Thunderbolt Ross. Even though it has the original Hulk voice, this is more like Banner cosplaying as Thunderbolt Ross, the Red Hulk. There's another Red Hulk, too, with a Hagar mustache, but it's a different guy. There is no escape. You saw... Oh! Narrowly dodging the first air, only get hit by another. Counter switch in, no choice. Keep in mind, Geovas Elmaton has not yet popped his soul storm. So should this be the demise, it won't be over quite yet. However, this is not a spot to be in. Strider getting tagged on the way out. Finally escapes, he's gonna pop a storm, no choice. But man, just when things seem to be firmly in Geovas' favor, the script is flipped. And speaking of flipped, look at all these directions that Red Hulk is being hit from. This time he is down for the count. Hawkeye has a big life lead, but he's got two characters he's got to worry about. Oh no, what are you doing swinging? 
The bomb goes off, and another carpet of calamity has put Geovoss in a hole. Hulk Poland's now up one nothing. My biggest achievement in life, man, I always try to have the bar raise each time. The moment I say what the biggest is, I might have something better to do the next day. I always try to shoot higher, you know? And let us see if Geovoss can Ready. shoot higher than Hulk Poland and keep him from going up to nothing. Because things seem to be well in Geovoss' order when this started, but we will see if that was fleeting. It's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And with the way Guts works this game, how you finish uh, can mean quite a bit. Even you have like a commanding start, when uh, Guts come into play and all that red health and how much can be recovered, that can make your hot start not quite so hot. However, what can help it is when all of that recoverable health is nullified or get hit raw like that, or throw as a matter of fact, all right, we have uh, Ninja Theory Dante trying to give Strider time to recover because, man, he is low on health. And sadly, Dante does not have much of a health pool of his own. These glass cannons are getting shattered like Stone Cold in his entrance music. Down we go. The good news is there's a Soul Storm ready to be activated. The bad news, he won't have a chance. Oh, he does. Man, he got so lucky there. Hope Poland had him dead to rights. He is popping level three, and Hawkeye is down, but not for the count. As soon as Hulk comes back, he's going to pop it and give Hawkeye some time to make things happen. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I'm sure Dante was hoping that the Soul Surge would stop Hulk whatever he was doing, but it was not to be. Hulk Pollen is now up to nothing. Hulk Poland, he has that tenacity. He's always been a contender, but as far as I remember, I don't think he's ever won a Marvelous Meetings. He has come very close several times. Maybe this is his weekend. We shall find out as he tries to go up 3-0 and advance and send Geovoss home. But Geovoss, don't count his tenacity either. This big slab of red meat is being chopped up and served by Dante the Demon Hunter. The exterminator, exterminador de demonos. There we go. Oh, big forward heavy punch. The big duff to the jaw. Gotta bring in Dante. Dante bringing down the rain and Red Hulk again being chopped up by exterminador de demonos. Boom. Oh, he blocked, and now he got punished by Strider, wrong character. So Hawkeye and Hulk Poland are trying to get some kind of leverage, so when Hulk does come... All right, so I see what he's trying to do now. If he can kill one of these characters, then he can pop his own Soul Storm and lock Geovoss into the same. I think Geovoss has realized what he's trying to do, so now he is locking out Hulk Poland before he can do that to him. Hawkeye in a bad spot. He tried to go for a YOLO Sagittarius arrow. The storm has run out. you got to bring somebody in. Okay, good. You have no choice. You catch anybody? Nobody's been caught. In fact, it was a happy birthday. Disaster has struck for Hulk Paul, but no, he, Hulk fell out. The big gamma crush. Who gets hit? Strider is hit. I do not know if he will survive. That's done. Baboom! Hulk Poland has snatched, or about to have snatched, in the Jaws defeat. He does, just when Geovoss had what looked to be a win in the bag, Hulk Poland 
held on to those prayers, and his prayers were answered. He advances 3-0. Geovas, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining Mama's Beans. As always, there will be more. This is just the first ranking battle here at the Crosswire Championship Series for Mario's Capcom Infinite. Whether you be watching here on Twitch Psycho Blue 9 or on YouTube at NYC Furby. Believe, fight, try. Oh, I'm not mad. Trust me. If I'm, like, angry, you will know. Now, I've been, like, salty before, but, like, actual displeased? Ooh. Trust me. You will know. Because I wouldn't be talking loud like this. I would actually be pretty quiet. When I'm, like, when I'm mad, I start to seethe. Like, I don't yell when I'm angry. When I'm angry, I'm, like, Ready. low as a whisper. Fight. Thankfully, though, that is not the case, because awesome marble sets are on my screen. Okie dokie. So, Bane Hollow is getting started. I have never seen Dr. Kano, Dr. Kano play on Mobless meetings. Another Ghost Rider player. He's a very popular character in these parts. Between Jaco Man, uh, between... I think the back plays him as well. Rodent Rob plays the no, Rodent Rob. Rodent Rob plays him, and now Dr. Kano plays him. We will see if it helps him against Vayne Hollow because he has has shut out Ghost Rider, and Ultron barely has a dent on him. We will see if that's enough to overcome an almost fully healthy Winter Soldier Chunli combination, because it's a long climb up, and there's no Soul Storm to bring back Ghost Rider. Dr. Kano is rocking the Reality Stone, a most powerful stone, especially in the early parts of Marvel Infinite. Not quite as strong as it once was, still as a place. Right now, Dr. Kano's place may be on the floor unconscious, because Chun-Li and Winter Soldier have just put away Ultron. He is now 1-0 Bane Hall. Here's the finale! Satisfied yet? I've learned to live with my guilt. Chun-Li is the law of Marvel Infinite. I don't know. I feel like I would say that was more like Dante. When I think law, I think characters who can dominate everybody with no effort. And I think that's still Dante. Because Dante is a character that can decimate all on his own and do so with very little execution effort. Like, once you know how to uh, button dash, he takes no effort whatsoever. And after that, I would say uh, Dormammu is more on. chun -Li is more like... Um, chun -Li is being more like Bob, when I think about it. She's, this Chun-Li isn't quite as dominant as cross-second Chun-Li when it comes to, like, the overall roster, but I do think she is pretty close to the top. Like, her hitboxes are pretty ambiguous, especially in these mad scrambles, and the fact that there are certain stones that she benefits from way more than others would in similar synergy situations, that also puts her up there as well. Delete Chun from the game. Aw, oh, come on, who that that's mean. But I do know Chun Li, especially in Bane Hollow's hand, in this particular combination, is pretty nasty. I just don't think uh from relating cross deck and stuff, I don't think Chun Li is lost. She's more like Bob to me. Just the execution she requires and what she's good at, that's more of a Bob thing to me. Bob's also close to top tier in cross tech, it's not all the way in there, but yeah, I think based on the overall roster, Bob's a better example. Dr. Kano has, as we're talking, Dr. Kano has silenced Bane Hollow. This is going to be really difficult for Bane Hollow to come back from. Got to start now. Reality Storm activated, but a regular throw, and Dr. Kano ties it at one. There should be more waifu costumes like Street Fighter V. I agree! There should be more content in general for this game. 
whether it be Chun-Li waifu costumes, more characters, more costumes in general, more stages, etc. But alas, it was not to be. Ooh, the toe tap into the power surge. Yeah, Chun-Li has been hearing us talk junk about her, so she's here to stake her claim as a top-tier nuisance. Time to put those shots in. More shots than a diabetic. Pop, pop, you go. Good job of being the last grenade, only for Chun-Li to swoop down. Yeah, imagine, though know, Chun-Li could kind of do it, I guess, if he's still one. That's like Chun-Li had like all the air dash stuff she has in this game and other Street Fighter games with the full extent of it. You thought she was top tier in third strike. Oh boy, imagine that in a Street Fighter game. I mean like the good air dash, not the crappy air dash that 12 has in third strike. Oh yeah, Chun-Li doesn't walk, she struts. Dr. Kano firing back in a big way. And so Chun-Li has a full stock of health. Winter Soldier, not so much. But as he has said many times when he popped the storm, I've been through worse. There is that reversal super. Winter Soldier is out of there. And now Chun-Li is on the defensive. Super two time. Oh no. Ultra on a bad spot. He does not get out. The power surge hits them both. This is disastrous for Dr. Kano. And his situation is terminal. The doctor becomes the patient. And the patient is a critical condition because Bane Hall's up 2-1. One. one game away from moving forward to Grand Finals against Jacob, man. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Who dat? You are a great friend to do so to him. Whenever someone tells me that, they usually mean it, and whenever I prove otherwise, they get upset. Ready. Fight. Darn it. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, I didn't click out fast enough. As I said earlier in another Bravo's Being Streams, the Xbox side, if you don't click back in the window when you're changing the score and stuff, by the time the match starts, that's what happens. Bane Hollow fighting with uh, some some chips on his shoulder. Maybe he heard you were saying who, Dad. So swatted again. Okay, Dr. Kenna trying to get some momentum going. Oh, big armor! Not only does Winter Soldier have the armed shield, he has armored uppercuts. That's two different types of armor you gotta worry about. Ultron in a really bad spot. He managed to get out, bring in Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider swinging the fences, defending himself with a reality surge. Come at the right time. There is some floating balls of madness coming your way, Winter Soldier. Bucky about to be filled with buckshot full of holes. Where are you going? That big kick says you cannot escape from the reality storm. The storm has passed. And there are some surges to try and keep Chun-Li at bay. Good luck. So we got a slow moving fireball to Koken. Gunshots. There, that, who cut the low part. Just the right angle to avoid that shield. Oh no, where are you going? Anti-air with a low attack. You hate to see it happen. And happy birthday to Bane. Thank you very much, Jacob, man. Jacob educating me on the the bevy of Ghost Rider players that have emerged in Marvel Infinite. No doubt they are a resilient, crafty bunch. But we will see if Dr. Kano has what it takes to figure out the cure to his malady. Sadly, the only cure in this situation is to be sent to losers. Bane Hollow moves forward to winner's finals 3-1. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Limits. Please donate to the Match Arena. Anything you have would be appreciated. No, it is not Mugen. Everybody says that's not Mugen.
Ultron and Ghost Rider, Dante and Dormammu. So I'm going to avoid any more tierless discussions because this game, I've said this, for a Marvel game, this game is really, really, really balanced. There, I think at this point, every character has won a, a tournament of some kind, whether it be an offline or a larger online event. So for a game like this to have something like that, in a, especially like a two-on-two -two game, that's pretty impressive. Mario's Capcom Infinite, quote-unquote, the balance model. There are definitely a couple of have and have nots, but it all depends on your synergy and what stone you're using. Most people consider Dante Dormammu Team Tryhard, though. Those are the two best characters, I think. After that, you get to zero, and after that, I've lost track. I think it's kind of muddy after that, but I think most agree Dante Dormammu are the two top suspects for top tier. I think Arthur has won one. I think Black Panther might have won one. At the same time, the Black Panther might have been uh, a ratio tournament. Because there was a ratio tournament at EVO a couple years back that Bane won using, I think, Winter Soldier and Black Panther. And Ryu won a gauntlet, so that much I know. I think Arthur has won something, I forget. I know um, Happy Omega won one of the early Mobless meetings, uh, one of the seasons with his Hagar Arthur team. Alrighty. Right now, Dr. Kano is trying to get some wins of his own against top tier nonsense Dante Dormammu. There's a player named Tier Problems who is in the chat. Good to see you. This game has problems, but a tier list ain't one. All right, Tier Problem says neither Arthur nor Chris have won a gauntlet yet, or an offline event to speak of. I will teach you truly. Welcome to my realm. Are there downsides to using Advancing Guard? There are some downsides because you can kind of, there's a window you have to do it in, and you can bait someone into trying to go for a push guard, and that would actually put them out of guard, and then they would get opened up like that. There's also situations where it's better to not push guard because someone may be unsafe on block and it's better to make them think you're going to push guard but not and then get a clean punish. Ready. Fight. And yeah, as uh, Roden Rob said, sometimes you can bait someone to push guarding and that would actually be worse for them than they just guarded regular for situations just like that. $120, thank you. I will look and see who donated later, but thank you whoever donated $30, I appreciate it. We have crossed the $100 threshold, thank you guys so much. Dr. Kano is gonna try and tie this at one, but Quebec is not making it easy. So it is a reality, so I'm totally seeing Ghost Rider with time uh, in space even, that the reality Ghost Rider is not quite as common. Although I might have seen, I think, Rodent Rob use it once. No, Rodent Rob uses Soul. Uses soul. So, this is actually not a bad idea against Dormammu, trying to uh, keep him at bay from doing his screen stuff by having screen span your own to counter it. Especially since that flame jet in the reality storm uh, will, will come out no matter what happens afterwards. So you can interrupt people from doing stuff. Uh-oh, big punish. But no, you're too tiny. Dante ducks under the chain. That's unfortunate. Crossing up Ultron. Ultron, no choice but the counter switch. But their mama is here to continue the onslaught. The demon and the demon hunter. The hunter and the hunted. Putting aside their differences for the greater bounty of the match arena now at $120. Everybody, if you are watching, please donate if you have not already done so. Anything you do is appreciated, nothing is ever required of you, but we always give thank yous and we are always generous whatever it is you might contribute. Quebec is now up to nothing. I win again. And as who that says, Advancing Guard also has more block stun. Ready. So you have to figure out when it's time to advance a guard and when it's time to regular guard. 
because there are upsides and downsides to both Tanger situation. Generally, if you're getting crowded, advancing guard's not the worst idea. But this is a situation where you know your opponent has already uh, burned out his tag, or he doesn't have a partner, then just blocking until you know he's unsafe is best. And push guard can sometimes push you away from them and stopping your chance of doing so normally. Yahoo, Dad, you played Thor, right? I think you want to knock me out of a tournament at that one beast to east. Yeah, you played Thor, and I think Thanos. I remember you bought me pretty bad, also at uh, Sova as well. Yeah, Thor Thanos, that's the one. Yeah, who dad? You can join if you want. I'm gonna be hosting more of these. As I said, the Crossfire Championship Series isn't just one game. It's G Fire Cross Tech, it's Marvel Infinite, it's TMT Cross Justice League, and it's New Geo Battle Coliseum. And I'm gonna be hosting a whole season worth. The season finale won't be until like uh, December or January, so yeah, go for it. Alright. Ultron is gonna try to do this all this lonesome. And Kabak is not too keen to let him do so. He is one win away from advancing to loser semis. Ah, oh, the big riff. Where are you going? The thunder has just struck ACDC in the house. An Ultron situation where his plug might be pulled. Oh, he got away only to come into another spell. He had a gasp, only to be a little bit too hasty trying to move forward, and then get caught in another one. Reset to death. Red screen of death. Quebec moves forward. 3 nothing. Well, actually, red screen of death would only be uh, Sony products. This is the Windows version, so blue screen of death is more accurate. Right stage. Okay. Time for business. Hulk Poland on the left. Rodent Rob on the right. Captain America Arthur versus Hawkeye Hulk. Two very similarly structured teams. We have two zoners uh, and two characters with bust out moves. Let us see who comes out on top. A big gamma charge. Raw and uncut. Sending Arthur to the heavens. His tiny body being careening across the stage. Blown away like a thistle in the wind. Up to Captain America to save the day and throw his mighty shield. And his mighty shield is mighty indeed. Like, there was a match we had a few months back between Captain America and Frank. And both of them did their bust out at the exact same time Captain America's had priority. So that is how mighty his shield attacks are. Once again, this is Marvel's Meetings Top 8. This is the first Grand Bat of our new Matcherino League. I am now a Matcherino Verified Partner. Thank you guys for all you contributed thus far. We're at $125. Thank you for dropped in the $5 donation. It is much appreciated. It's never required, but we do, um, we do express our generosity all the same. Thank you. I will state your name after this match. Rodent Rob in a really bad spot, trying to keep Roden Robin, like I said, Roden Robin a bad spot, just uh, trying to keep from getting drowned in projectiles like that. But no worries, here comes the storm, level three from Arthur. The thing is, there's so much help. You have to chip through between Hawkeye having close to full health and Hulk having wild in general. Oh, all that armor, but it was not enough. All it did was delay the inevitable. A powerful gauntlet giving Arthur strength. Bomb arrow, and that was smart. So if he just went for the normal uh, ice, ice, poison, Captain America would have landed in between. So sliding after Arthur was very smart of Hulk Poland. Arthur stuck. And the thing is, even if he does kill a character, there would have been a soul soul resurrecting them, but there'll be no bring by Arthur this time. Hulk Poland up one nothing.
Will Rodent Rob switch characters? Well, that's not entirely true, Homeless. My mental state is actually quite stable. For those who do not know, I am a licensed mental health professional. I kind of have this particular state of mind to keep as to keep as clear viewed as possible. That way, I don't get too objective, but not too subjective. Because I am trying to not look at the world so black and white. But I do keep this personality pretty consistent that way I know where to manage how to be objective and how to make the most even-minded decisions without having to be insensitive to someone's will. So I know a lot of people have an impression about me, but I do maintain this personality mostly to continue being objective while also not being insensitive. Black Dahlia Murder is a good band. Excellent taste, Bane Hall. I'm more of a Fear Factory guy myself. Like, I was on a big Fear Factory kick the last few months. I even listened to um, the really uh new metal craze type stuff from the early 2000s, like Digi the Digimortal <laughs> album. That's a good album. Even though it's like phoned in and corporate as all get out. For a long time. That's why I can't lose. Who will come out on top? And speaking of corporate as all get out, uh, Captain America and Hawkeye are known to be corporate rebels as they sided against Iron Man in Civil War. As they should. And... Civil War, I didn't like how they made Iron Man more sympathetic because Iron Man in the original Civil War was a complete dunce and I don't want people saying Iron Man was right when he clearly wasn't because he only knew the MCU stuff but that's selfish of me anyway Captain America and Hawkeye are having a spat over who's going to be leading the resistance and this will be the one that decides it it is one nothing Hulk Poland. Captain America says I have a midget Hawkeye says, I have a Hulk. We will see who wins in that situation. Captain America trying to find his way in, but every time he seems to have an opening, there's another arrow keeping him out. Then Hulk pushes him further in the corner. And now Captain, all right, Captain uses the time surge to take some shortcuts out of this volley of arrows projectiles. But now there is another volley coming from Captain America's end. Here comes Arthur. Arthur for teleport tried to mix up and have Cap catch Hawkeye unawares, but Hawkeye already called it. Hulk came to save the day. Aw, oh, Bane's not a Fear Factory head. That's just depressing. How about Lamb of God? Rich Zone. See, Arthur seems like the kind of guy who would award Randy White with some kind of religious award like that happened at one time because people who did the research thought Lamb of God was some Christian band, not realize what Lamb of God actually was. That was funny. Arthur seems like the kind of guy who would actually do that. Ooh, that was tricky right there. That was actually really cool. So we got a charging star fest going on. Ending with a level three. Audio delayed, no worries. I won't surrender. Over here. Wonderful. Yeah, I remember. There was Marvelous Meetings, this time at least, uh, Xbox Live's cooperating. Rodent Rob is actually pretty close to putting away Hawkeye, Hawkeye and Hulk this game. Uh-oh, there you go. This is it. That's major. Happy birthday to Rodent Rob. The thing is, even if you kill one, there may be enough for a... All right, Soulstorm coming. You have to. And this is still a pretty big life lead on Rotorob's end. Just don't get hit by a stray Sagittarius arrow. He does not. The Hyper Stars and Stripes. These Sagittarius arrows just firing desperately. Hoping to hit someone. And they do. Arthur's tiny body's been impaled, but level three. Hulk is down. He's not getting back up. Hulk Poland's not kicking out of this one as Rotorob ties it at one. 
your people. For justice, I will fight. Bane Hollow, I agree entirely. Lamb of God is good music. So you saw Hulk Poland try to go for that arrow scrape again, but Rodent Rob was having none of it. I'd also be careful doing Captain America because he does have a lot of moves that would just stop it in his tracks and lead to a really bad situation for Hawkeye. Oh no! Arthur is too short to get hit by even the regular arrows. That stinks. So now it's up to Poland and he gets somebody. Cat tried to come in to cover Arthur only to eat a gamma charge to the face. Got the poison. The only remedy is to hit Hulk or hit Hawkeye. The poison running through his veins, and it will not stop until it reaches the end of my life bar. Gamma, man, he's making some really good calls on when those switch are coming in. Could also be he's veering very specific about which ones he uses, since uh, the gamma charge does have some pr the gamma charge and gamma crush have some pretty powerful bust out factor. Hulk by himself is that impressive, but the level of just do it on some of his moves are quite useful in a two on two game, especially two on two game that works like this, the tagging. And once more, Hawkeye has to be careful with what he attacks Arthur with due to his tiny hitbox and hurtbox. That's nice. Got the bombs, at least a stun. Boom. It's still going and going and going. The Energizer Bunny's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice. Hawkeye just dashed right into buttons. And now Arthur is escorting Hawkeye to the corner. Hawkeye falls out. Arthur tried to pursue level three. Keep blocking, but you did not hit from behind. And a hypercharging star right to the behind. Get that looked at. Hawkeye's down for the count, but for how much longer? He's gonna pop that install. Hulk trying to maybe delete Rodent Rob before he can pop a storm of his own. Hulk Poland, though, might want to pop it now. I think his opportunity has gone to the toilet. He's gotta do it now or Hulk's in trouble. Hawkeye's back. Sagittarius. Ah, uh, level three. This is bit. Oh, he caught someone! Didn't do much damage, though. In that situation, there won't be much to really do. Arthur comes back in. He will be down to his skivvies. Let us see if Captain America can finish it before Arthur can worry about that. For those who do not know, when Arthur uses his install that enhances projectiles, he will enter that, uh, that heart shape, the heart shape, that. The Heart Pip Boxers, and he'll have to burn another bar to get at least his default armor back. He is left vulnerable in the boxer state. Kind of like Vega without his mask. Yeah, these arrows are nasty. I'm a Hawkeye main as well, I. So I always appreciate good Hawkeye play. Ah, look at this lameness. Good old lame zoning. I remember when this game came out, everybody was trying their hardest to avoid having zoners as much as possible because Street Fighter V was having every new character has some kind of anti-fireball tool and Dragon Ball had all the stuff with uh, homing dash and things like that and the meta hadn't really evolved in a way where zoning uh, was viable yet. I know uh, the new assist the game as well as new characters have put greater variety of playstyles back in the map. But now, this game's zoning was very blatant about how good it was. Ah, big SWAT. Ah, good job. So that's one benefit of not using push block guy. You saw Arthur wait his turn there before uh, doing something. Time is running out. And the Gamma Charge just deleted. It was not enough. 
as time was about to expire, Hulk Poland hung in there. It is now 2-1 oh, Hulk Poland. What a set so far. Blessed lameness. And to anyone who wants to correct me about Fighters, I'm talking like the early parts of Season 1, where the caveats of uh, homing dash and other fireballs not being as fireball-y as maybe others might hadn't been figured out. Now, fireballs are fantastic. With the beams being able to be tag-canceled, that makes them really threatening. Once again, thank you to everybody who did the match arena thus far. It is never required, but I always appreciate it. Thank you very much, Ernesto. I appreciate you adding the five dollars. You the man. I hope th things are going well with you and your you and your enterprises. Starting the next one shortly. I see everybody crowding in, eager to have a set. We have the OTP, Chun Li Ryu. But it's time to proceed forward. Only one team will be left Game standing. four underway. Let us see if Hulk Poland can advance the loser's semis. After this is going to be winner's finals between Bane You're Hollow and Jaco Man. Uh, a rapid flurry to start things off. Got hit with that rollback. And emerging from the rollback is Rodent Rob with a strong start. Here we go. All is appreciated. Everybody, thank you for watching thus far. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is Bob with Speedings, our first ranking battle of the revamped Matcherino League. We're trying to bring some of that Faded Two Worlds energy back today. And right now, it is Hulk Pola and Rodent Rob game four in Loser's Quarters. No, oh, look at this. Talk about that zoning. There it is. Ghost Rider's got to figure out a way to get in there. Arthur has been benched. Ghost Rider being escorted. Got in. Only get pushed out. Yeah, if you're a zoner, push blocks great this game. But there's a caveat. Even though uh, this looks dire. If you can push block at the right time, you get a gold reflect. And you can send these arrows right back into Hawkeye's face. And then he's in big trouble. So Hawkeye has to stagger the rhythm of these shots. Or he will have his artillery turned against him. That's exactly why Hulk Poland is staggering it the way he is. He's using them to march Road Rob into the corner. Yeah, he got somebody, but no, oh, what a whiff! Disaster has struck. He is cashing out that counter switch early with all the meter he's built. Gold Reflect is kind of strict, but the timing is pretty easy to get. It's just the way you cover it is you would have moves that provide some kind of cover fire to mix up the timing of the Reflect. Oh, big cross up from Captain America. Hulk is in trouble now. That big Hugo S. Kirk box of Hulk. Oh, jumping in, and he caught Captain America. Didn't get a full combo there, but he got that cross up with that jump light kick. Oh no, he fell out. I know what he wanted to do. He wanted to get a reset. Didn't happen. Gamma wave, locking down. Ghost Rider flinched. And time for the poison, Sagittarius Arrow. Here comes Hulk to pick up the scraps. Ghost Rider is down. The thing is, Poland has Storm. Will he pop it? Will he pop it? Try and lock him out. Oh no! Rodenrob pops it first. 
I was thinking Poland would try to pop his to lock out Captain America from having this happen. But at the same time, even if Hawkeye does go down, Hulk can come back. It's just a matter of Hulk having the time to pop a storm on his own end. Hyper stars and stripes getting as much damage as he can. Ghost Rider tried to lock him down, but on the other side, now it's Ghost Oh, go never mind. Ghost Rider managed to get the fire tornado. Um, no. For uh, in for Infinite, I'm really the only guy still playing in my area, Homeless. Uh, Cross Tekken has a lot of players right now, though. They have myself, there's Jury Kill's friend, there's uh, Pat. I can't say his tag or I'll get in trouble. Uh, Pat Van Pelt, there's Rugal, there's... Now there's uh, Black Jesus coming up. Okay. Ghost Rider biding his time, and... He does so successfully, he stops the onslaught. Watch it! What are you doing? You can't be caught short on that forward heavy punch, Hulk, otherwise that happens. Time is running out once again. 10 seconds left. Oh no. All right, good job. Ghost Rider got in. That's smart. Get him? He did. What a trade, and now Captain Bear is on his own. Six seconds left, can you do it? It's still possible, but time is running out in a big way. Moving for time overtimes? No, raw launcher! Hulk Poland moves forward 3-1 in a thriller. Always on the mark. I'll see you next time, Roden Rob. Thank you as always for helping run traffic in early parts of bracket. If you've not done so, donate to the match arena. Nothing's is required, but anything you contribute is appreciated. You have nothing but my generosity. I do hope that's enough. Ready. Let's get started. Winners finals. Fight. Jacob Man and Bane Hollow. The rivalry. This has also been the grand finals of Combo Breaker. This was the grand finals of at least two other Marvelous meetings. We shall see if uh, Jacob Man can get his get his duke today. I know Bane Hollow has a rather commanding lead in this rivalry. But hey, anything happens while this means, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can happen at Crossfires. We have crowned all sorts of champions throughout the many games we've had here. Uh-oh. I think you lost track of where the grenades were going. I did too. I forgot that grenade was a little bit active. So tiny, that little ball. Who think that tiny ball could be the source of so much pain. Where are you going? Swatted out of the sky thanks to the anti-air chain. Got the rocket and thanks to all that stun that rocket. Did, oh no, he dropped it only to put a winter soldier gets away. Good stuff, Aid Hollow. He blocked the surge, but not the legs. Watch your feet, Bane Hollow. This is Chun Li, known for her fantastic low attacks. Uh-oh. He's popping that storm. He wants all the pain in Nemesis' pain receptors. Those nerves are shot, and now so is his life bar. Or not. Nemesis survives. He pops the storm of his own. Time for Time Storm. Endless wonders, fire and thunder, off to save the world. It's time for Time Storm. But this is smart. So chun -Li is using her uh, Tenshokox to stay in the air longer than she should. And also puts kind of a schmick because you can't see what's going on the ground when she's doing that until a partner tags in. This camera will favor the point characters. So when chun -Li goes up in the air, you have to worry about what's going on the ground because you lose track of what's going on. Swatted out again! Here's something for you. All right, he's out of the way of the reversal. Chun Li's there. Looking for up, kicks nobody home. Bane Hollow is getting torched. However, Wake Up EX spinning bird kick has stopped that momentum. Now it is Jacob Man on the wrong side of a happy birthday. Bane Hollow enjoying the gifts that have bestowed upon him, making the most of it. No refunds necessary. Nemesis is down for the count. Ghost Rider might not be much longer. He's got to do this all on his own. 
It's not entirely impossible, but man, it's not good. Watch yourself. All right, you block grenade. Good. Let's worry for a second. Pinkle Man trying to find his way to this floor. He got the reflect he wanted, but the stun already wore out. Chun Li catches him low again as Winter Silver fight aerial cover fire. Bane Hollow is now up one nothing. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Good stuff, Bane. Uh oh. Jacob Man get nuked? Where'd you go, Jacob Man? There we go. I had to clear my throat. Have mercy, babe. I hope you don't mind. It's a song, by the way. DJ Cool, rest in peace. Let me clear my throat. Have mercy, babe. Ha! I hope you don't mind. Boom. 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 All right. Got double rockets. Three rockets. Okay, I see you. Got the fiery tornado. Will you survive in the wrath of the tornado, as Megadeth would say? Gonna blow you away. Seems like it's not working in Jacob Man's favor. Big birthday present for Chun Li and Winter Soldier. Well, watch yourself. Okay, so you're seeing uh, Winter Soldier protect himself by using uh, the arm shield as well. Oh no, he just ate that super in the face. All these shots, and there's enough stun for Super 2 to hit. Piling on the damage. Oh no, another Gold Reflect. So, we were talking earlier about the benefit of Gold Reflect. That's how easy it is, once you know the timing. So, Nemesis can stagger his rockets and delay when they're going to come out. That time, Bane Hollow and chun -Li knew exactly what time it was going to be, and it blew up in Nemesis' face, literally. Good to see you, Max the Wise. Hope you're enjoying the show. Once more, this is Marvelous Meetings, the first ran bat of our Match Arena League, the Crossfire Championship Series. That is the end of this round. Bane Hollow is now up to nothing. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Chun Li talking that smack. Woof. I felt that from here. Look at that win quote. Ready. Fight. Man, that was quick. Bane already had him in a sandwich situation. However, Nemesis, the one getting hit instead. Ghost Rider tried to get out. Axe switching Nemesis in. Only for Nemesis to get hit. Oh, you tried to get away. So, most cases. Raw jump heavies like raw jump heavy kicks like that would uh, just call it a, a uh, halfway hard knockdown. But because of Nemesis multi hitting nature, if he hits them even once, that's what's going to happen. Cause that bounce state, which leads to the follow ups. This has been a look, it looked like a good round for Bane Hollow, but Jacob Man flipped the script on him quickly. This is disaster. We're soldier in a bad spot. He's down for the count. He's not coming back up. Chilly got to do this all on her own. And it's not looking too good about that. 
This is still going. Storm pop. Oh, not tight. Not quite time for a storm pop. There's really no reason for it just yet. She only has the ability to do this all herself. Fish one of a chance. Even trading, that's not going to do it. Jacob in on the board is now 2 1 Bane Hollow. What a surge. Boom. Ba boom. Ba ba boom. Ba ba boom. Ba boom. Okay. The rhythm is right now firmly at Bane Hollow's discretion. Can Jacob Man. Alright. Jacob Man is trying to say not quite my tempo, but Bane Hollow is saying no, it is my tempo. And this is my. This is my room, my friend. You are playing my instruments and you're playing my song. Just turn it up, turn it on. It's being turned up right now. Jacob is trying to put the volume back down. Put the needle on this racket. Nemesis trying to get something started, but Bane Hollow is not letting him. Bane Hollow is it. Oh, here we go. What's that going to be? Okay. Chumley missed. Oh, let's say Chumley missed the timing only to change the timing. This is the rhythm of the almost night. It's almost 7 o'clock right now here in Richard, Virginia. Almost time for dinner. Appropriate because right now, Bane Hollow's feasting. Level 3. Ghost Rider getting his jaw jacked and his jaw cracked. Nemesis has to do it all on his own. Can he survive this setup? It's close. No, oh, he doesn't. He just gets hit by the grenade at the end. And Bane Hollow moves forward to Grand Finals winner's side, 3-1. to one. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Towards points Only for the season finale. Next up dead. is Hulk Poland and Quebec. Hulk Poland going with his Hawkeye Hulk team. And Quebec going with Team Cyber Japan Agent. With the exact same colors as well. Ready. So you saw Dante go for an opening game with that teleport, but Hawkeye was careful not to swing. He knew something was coming. Happy birthday to you. The back escorting both Hulk and Hawkeye to the corner, and Dormammu picking up the scraps. He fell a stump, but a YOLO stand. Heavy punch sending Dormammu careening into the wall. Now he's got to try this all over again. Hulk went for an air grab, but Dormammu was wise to his tactics. Coming down, there's the dive kick. He wanted that big smack down. Time for the dance. Oh, no dance this time. It is Dormammu doing the dance, and we dancing now. Oh, coming down with the hammer down heavy punch. And suddenly Dormammu is being put. Oh, he's got to get out. Oh, he doesn't have a chance to. Hawkeye called him out with a command. Diagonal arrow, forward heavy punch. Just when things seem to be firmly in Kabak's control, Hulk Poland flipped the script on him. He has to kill, good, he has to kill Hawkeye here and then pop the Space Storm immediately. He cannot give Hawkeye a chance to come back. Pop it, good. He's gonna send uh, those late bullets out to stop. Oh, Hulk blocked it. He fell out of the stun. Skedaddle, skedoodle. Neutral has been controlled, and now you are face down on your noodle. Quebec moves forward and is now up 1 0. It's getting dark outside. Let me turn the lights on real quick. The sunlight is suddenly fading. There we go. 
Ready. Alright, the lights are on. Let us see if the lights are on in House of Hulk Poland as well, as he tries to climb out of this one nothing hole Kabak's put him in. No, it was a nice effort, but the bullet rain comes down hard. Time to make some slushies. Hard knockdown, though. Didn't wait long enough for the ice to fully settle in. So we've had some airborne like that. We've already used a ground bounce. That's what's going to happen. So you saw when you use the ice, there's like a, a bounce they have. You want to be sure we do the next move. You want to continue that combo going. You have to make sure that they are fully settled in on the ground, frozen solid. Well, that was... That was a quick uh, 60 seconds for Hulk. There's going to be a storm pop, but you have to survive the setup with that stalking flare. And right now, it's not looking particularly promising. He's going to go for the dance, as expected. Keep that stun going. Yeah, he has to pop it now. So you saw he was saving his bar. He didn't go for any ender that situation. Just so want to be sure he had enough in case he needed to counter switch out. However, he can. I don't. Yeah, he can't counter switch the storms active. So there's that. All right, good block. The whole Poland trying to get some kind of leverage back. The good news is both characters are back at least, but they are both very low on health. Meanwhile, Kabak has almost a full stick of butter to work with to make something nice and tasty. Oh, armoring through! I see you. Dante keeps blocking, but Dermamu is still in there. I can manage to get away from the teleport setup. Dive kicking in. Here comes Dermamu again. Cobb with the pillar. And there is... Oh no, stop your tracks, but the, thankfully the flink car was still active. So, uh, yeah, the assembly line managed to get stopped in its tracks. Good job with the setup, but not much longer. Save between Dark Hole and the Sword. Kabak manages to put Hulk Poland in a 0 2 hole. Jackpot! I win again. Well, tried to armor through the bullets, but it did stop Hulk in his tracks. Enough for Dante to do this to him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Roden Rob, uh, here it's been mostly sunny, and then the storms come in the evening, and then they fade in a couple hours' time. It's nothing really substantial. I, I do think we're due for like a properly fully cloudy day, though. It's been brutal heat and humidity-wise around here. I need the sun to take a bit of a break, cool things down a bit. And speaking of cooling things down, Dermamu says cool things down. No, heat things up. Dermamu trying to play his no can to contrarian card, doing exactly the opposite of what Hawkeye would want with the ice arrows. Or really what Dante would want with his uh, freezing nunchucks. The Cerberus. Ah, all right, there we go. He's playing some Rose Ball right there. Dermamu does like the cold was put on him, but I guess other people Dermamu doesn't like the cold that much. And Dante is about to ice Hulk Poland. And all of, okay, all of it missed. That stinks. <laughs> the good news is, uh, yeah. Sorry, Hawkeye was still alive. I thought uh, Hulk was the one still alive. I lost track. No worries. Kabak moves forward. 3 nothing. Hulk Poland, as always, good seeing you. I will see you next time, I'm sure. Best wishes with Evo. I told there is a donation drive to bring you to Vegas. Enjoy. It's a beautiful city, and you'll have a great time. Give my regards to Summer Soldier. Fight. Try. 
Dekoman versus Quebec, Losers Finals. This has been a grand final several times in Bobless Means, especially since I moved to the Microsoft side of the Infinite community. Ready. But this is only Losers Finals. The final boss, Bane Hollow, waits in Grand Finals. Quebec and Bane Hollow. Sorry, Quebec and Jaco Man trying to face Bane Hollow. Quebec and Bane Hollow could be what we see, but could just as easily be Bane Hollow and Jaco Man. See, I'm already thinking about the possibilities of Quebec versus Bane Hollow should happen. And Quebec is trying to prove my sudden vision, my rapid epiphany. Correct. Was it an omen? Is the writing on the wall? Because it seems to be. My goodness, what a start for Quebec thus far. Hey, Athena, good to see you. I told you got a pretty sick Ghost Rider as well. Maybe one day I can see it here at Marvel's meetings. Burn to Cinder, Chaotic Flame. What a start for Quebec. Jacob Man not giving any time to do anything. See, he's popping a time storm. Okay, he got out. So, this is a long climb for Jacob Man to make. Quebec had a commanding start. It looked to be almost a perfect. So much, so much stuff happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. Just green everywhere. The threads of time are being unraveled. All right, time storm's over. And now it is time for the Eye of the Storm. There's a sudden calm in the air as Quebec has resumed picking apart Jaco Man. The storm is ended and now the damage is being assessed. Sadly, it was not in the favor of those that summoned the storm. Right, big lightning bolt. Jaco Man, this is not going to... Oh, no, okay, maybe it will. Dark holes, but Nemesis to the rescue. Dante avoids the rocket. But now Nemesis is locked in the box. The cube of shame. It is Ghost Rider's turn to be put in timeout. Oh, maybe not. The box faded, and he survived the stalking flare on top of it. Here we go. Get started. This would be quite the comeback. Is Jacob May about to run wild? No, oh, maybe. Oh, uh, oh no, he didn't get the punish. Okay. Now it is Dormammu's turn to be taken for a ride. Got the reset. This is big, but no worries. Dante here to save the day. Put the storm, but they both got caught. Are they far enough? Yeah, this is disaster. Jaco Mania is running wild. Pop that storm! Go for it! Keep him out! There! Oh, no! Give a swipe! The back said, no, none of that! I am putting an end to your backstage politics! No Jaco Mania here! I'm the Dungeon of Demise! I say Dungeon of Demise because Dungeon of Doom is different. See, Dungeon of Doom would be for Hulk Hogan, but this is Jaco Man and Jaco Mania. So thus is the Dungeon of Demise, not the Dungeon of Doom. The Dungeon of Doom would not mind Jaco Mania. They'd actually be pretty supportive of it. But not not a Dungeon of Demise. They hate Jaco Mania. Come back up one nothing. Ready. See, I always like putting these little narratives into all my commentary. I guess that's my trademark. Everybody has their own energy. That's my energy. Just as uh, I said, me a bedtime story. I've always got uh, some kind of scribing for you. I've got a tale of woe and misery prepared for you. Should uh, should Quebec manage to advance? I'd love Quebec to face Bane Hollow, but I do know because Dormammu and it's Dormammu Dante Team Tryhard, that would be a uh, kind of a downer. You always love seeing uh, characters like Ghost Rider Nemesis make it to the top. Thing is, Jacob Man has been in finals, not just Marvel's meeting, but other events so frequently that he's not the underdog he used to be. You know. Yeah, more people should donate to the Machirito so that whatever split Bane Hollow may get, he can use for groceries and food. I actually have to get groceries when this is done as well. Uh, so yeah, let's make things happen. Okay, Jacob Mania seems to be back in control. Dungeon Demise is being demolished. Close for repairs, as they say. There is devastation in the wake. Nemesis locked the box, but who is trapping who? 
Usually whenever people put Jigman in the box, they're the ones getting walloped. Mix. The box is done, and so is Dormammu. Dante got to do this all on his own. Time to pop a storm maybe to keep the box from happening. Nope, no box necessary. Good blocking from Quebec. Good block from Quebec. Still blocking, still blocking, still hungry. Stay hungry. Still going. I'm waiting for a box to happen. This is such a... Oh, where are you going? Airborne? Stay on the ground, sir. All flights have been canceled. And now you've been outright deleted. Jacob and Tyson at one. You have challenged my Hellspawn power and lost. Gather round boys and girls. Let me tell you the tale of Jacomania. It was tied at one against Quebec, a formidable opponent playing two powerful warriors of Dante Dormammu. Some say the two strongest warriors in this particular field, but Jacomania cared little. He always found the way. He tends to find a way quite often between Mobless meetings and the gauntlet and offline events. After all, Grand Finals at Combo Breaker was Bane Hollow and Jaco Man. However, Quebec seeks to overcome this most formidable adversary of Jake this brutal adversary who possesses Jaco Mania. Man, I'm getting my typos in. I have as many typos talk as I do writing, my goodness. Alrighty. Enough of that. Jacob Man is trying to, yeah, he's trying to fire after a, a bit of a false start there, but that's a big birthday present. Here we go. Boom, still going. All right, so Dermam is the one lower health and the one on point. He's gonna use his bike to absorb his, oh no! Wow! Because the hitbox is so big, he extended it when he tried to just Blast through Ghost Rider's armor with the big chaotic flame. That's depressing. Man, I thought Ghost Rider's health bar was going to melt because it's armored and not invincible. But no, he just extended his hurt box out, so he got caught in the bike. That could not have gone the way Quebec thought it was going to go. All right, Nemesis, all right, Nemesis has been saved by Ghost Rider. Monster Mose Incorporated continue to stick together. Dormammu's down for the count. It is time to pop a time storm. There is no box here. He is not the man in the box. However, Dur Dante is about to be reduced to bones. Going in. All right, time's out. Box time. Allison change time. Oh, maybe not. You got caught by the stand heavy punches. And then Nemesis put the boots to you. Uh, man up 2-1. Or 2-1, not 0-1. These tiny arrows on these scoreboards. Typos everywhere. The tale of Jacob Man continues... Is victory on the other end, or will Quebec, with his two powerful warriors, be able to put a stop to Jacob Mania once and for all? That rips up definitely something to get started with. It's been so long since I've commentated Marvel, guys. I love watching this game. I love hosting this game. Thank you again, everyone who participated and donated to the Match Arena or is just watching. Like, whatever you're doing, if you are watching this, thank you. In whatever capacity you contribute to, I appreciate it. Every little bit counts. All right, Jacob Mania running wild right now. Chases after Amamu, puts him in a box, and Nemesis tried to air throw him, but not quite high enough to catch Dormammu. Floating over, and he's going to have to make the most of this. Build that bar. And then get that smack down and oh no he faded away, didn't get all the air dashes he wanted. Got the rip. 
so he knows it's coming. So again, Dante and Dermot are the two best characters, but they're so common that Jayco Man has all the counters ready and know exactly what someone might do in what situation. You're going to have to catch Jayco Man unawares, and that's not easy. He plays, uh, he, oh, did he get it? Okay, he did. I was unsure for how long he was on the ground. There's a time when they're on the ground that long that the stun wears off, and then there's just a hard knock situation. Nice, good catch. Good catch again. Just don't be stand. Oh, he got caught low. That's it. Jayco Mania shall be advancing to grand finals. Commentator's curse. Never mind. Do not lose this, Jayco man. Do not. Okay, about to say. If you lost to that, come on. Jayco man moves forward 3-1 to grand finals. Come back. It's always great to see you. I will give you your Maturino split at the conclusion of this event. You have 10% of this, so it'll be $12.50. Unless, of course, somebody adds a little bit more Sadaka to the Maturino pot before we conclude. That'd be great. Fight. Try. Okay, I gotta get the side swapped. Bane Hollow on the left, Jacob in on the right. Let's get hyper, everybody. It's Grand Finals. Ready. Fight. I'm going to have to delete my intro since I botched it so horribly. I'll get it next time. It's one of those days. But we shall see if it is Jayco Man's day. As I've said before, these two have been the last two in several tournaments now, especially in recent memory. So we shall see if Jayco Man will have his day or if Bane Hollow will once again be your Mavis Meetings champion. Both Jayco Man and Bane Hollow have won Marvel Speedings, but typically when they're both the tournaments, always Bane Hollow coming out on top. Jayco Man usually wins if Bane Hollow sits out and then it is uh, Quebec or another adversary in the typical lineups, such as Hulk Poland or Roden Rock. Oh no, where you going? Back of the head. Rolling right into harm's way. Prediction I think Bane Hollow wins again, but Jayco Man is the sentimental favorite. I've said before, Jayco Man is someone who I consider my counterpart to Infinite that I am for Cross Tekken, and because of that, I have a kind of kinship with him, so he is my sentimental pick. But I think we'll see. Hey, we'll see. Commentator's curse. If I hype up Jayco Man a little bit too much, then I'm afraid I might, I might be the end. So realistically, I think it's Bane Hollow, but Jayco Man's making a case right now. This has been a great round so far. Badoom. Okay. It's going to pop a storm. And oh no! Caught and recover. I was thinking Jay was going to just uh, go crazy trying to get a command grab off, but no such luck. Chumley's doing this on her own right now. She definitely has the tools to do it. So Chumley just jump in menacingly. That wave dash. But uh, finally got him. So Nevis has so much health. But you don't have to worry about much until... Oh, missed it! And now you get sandwiched in, maybe chipped out. All right, avoiding the chip out. That's good. Bane Hollow hang on to a prayer right now. Jacob Man had a fantastic round thus far. But it can slip away. All it takes is two combos. All right, Magic Pixel. Oh, got him! How much damage can you pile on and... All right, he has a, a bar back, but he two bars of counter switch. Nemesis is down. So there's gonna be a storm coming and Ghost Rider will probably try and lock in Chun-Li into a fiery tornado. And that'll be... Oh, no, no chip out! What is this? You're kidding me. Wow, Jaco, man, come on! Bane Hollow is up 1-0. What a heroic comeback from Bane Hollow. Magic Pixel. The moment Jaco Man would have unleashed either the bike or the tornado, Chun Li would have just withered, whether she blocked or not. But no, Chun Li said, no, I'm the protagonist. I am the hero of Capcom along with my hubby Ryu. This is my time, and you're on my time. And now you got no time at all. Chun-Li held in there. Shonen comeback. No, Shoujo comeback. After all, this is Chun-Li, the first lady of fighting games. 
Shoujo heroin comeback. And by the way, if I be nerds about it, I know Chun Li, where you aren't married, but being they've been chipped like every outside media but Street Fighter, I'm just gonna say they're they're unofficial, you know? They're life partners now. They just don't get married because either one can't commit or they can't find uh, enough money to get a nice wedding, so they just say, you know what? We're life partners now. We live together. We might as well be husband and wife. All right, moving back to the actual match. What looked to be uh, a situation where Jay was going to draw first blood. Instead, Bane Hollow snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. And now Jacob Man has to rebuild momentum. It's not looking very rosy right now. Well, to be fair, Road Rob, chun -Li's also older in Street Fighter VI. Eventually, Father Time has a way of... Uh, Wrecking beauty, you know? She could look a lot worse at her age. Anyway, if the Chun Li looks fine, I mean, obviously that first picture of her talking about thousands and stuff wasn't very flattering, but since then, her face is a lot more acceptable. I don't get people still hating now. Man, Chun Li and Winter Soldier are about to drop perfect on Monster Motors, Ghost Rider Nemesis. This is done. It's over. Oh, maybe not. Magic Pixel. All right, Jacob Man, can you do it again? No, you won't, Chip. No, maybe not. Storm. Now it's done. Perfect KO. So there actually was a chip out. It was the uppercut. It was the ender of that air super. Bane Hall now up 2-1. First it was a Magic Pixel Miracle. Then it was a perfunctory perfect trouncing. Jaco Mania is on life support. And Jaco Mania is having its followers gather around. Because the plug might be pulled any second now. Jaco Man, what will you do? to try and get that energy back. Get that big New York comeback going. Battle without limits. Jacob has got to pop up, point the finger, and then go for the three punches, Ready. or the nemesis punches, and then the chain drop, and then it's over. So it's not three punches. Nemesis punched you five times with that crazy swing. And that's usually when Jacob Mania starts to happen when he gets those big bust-out call-outs. Bane Hollow does not seem too keen on giving him the chance. There is a eulogy being written for Jacob Mania right now, and Bane Hollow seems intent on scribing it. Bane Hollow. Should he win this, he will earn seven points in the Mobless Meetings rankings. Jacob Man will earn five points, and Quebec will earn four points. Now, of course, if Jacob Man should win and go reverse 3 0 and reset the bracket and then win that reset, it would be Jacob with the seven points and Bane Hollow with the salty five. Yeah, good. Good. Oh, that was. Interesting there. However, it was enough of a stun for Jacob Man to get the opening he needed. Rapidly pursuing Winter Soldier. All right. So because there was a tag there. Okay, there you're about to say. Winter Soldier didn't get hit all to the very end. I was thinking it hit Hooter to get grabbed. Oh, he grabbed them. What? Chun Li is right now staring down the face of her sins. The weight of her sins crashing down upon her. Super R2, did you catch? You did not. Jaco Man firing back. There's signs of life after all. Jaco Man is now only down 2-1. I have willed it. I have willed the commentator's curse. You heard me already right off, Jaco Man. That was intentional. I'm trying to weaponize the commentator's curse so that Jaco Man can come through.
I purposely counted chickens before they hatched. Knowing that if I did, Jacob would maybe look foolish. All according to plan. Uh, yeah, actually, I would be like 50. Wait, is it not set to both? Darn it, I'll do it after this. I'm sorry. I thought I said to both before when I reset the, the lobby. Begins. Yeah, so Namor and Human Torch were like 1940, Ready. I think. So, in the next 18 years, we could have, like, our own fan-made original Human Torch Namor game. Namor needs to be in more games anyway, so that's completely fine by me. Boom. Bop. Boom. Bop. Boom. Bop. Boom. I love that Rocket Quarter combo. It's fun to laugh, too. Uh oh, fiery tornado. Jacob May definitely is running wild. That I will admit I said Jacob was on uh on the lifeline, but Jacob May is already uh starting to shake his arms right now. Jacob Man has stood up and Bane Hollow is staring in amazement as all of the damage he has inflicted upon Jacob Man is no longer showing its wear and tear. The wounds don't hurt quite as much as they should. The fatigue is gone and now Jacob Man Rushing for a head full of steam. Time for Time Storm. Man, the Jacob Maya Mo is definitely the command grab through all that nonsense that Bane Hollow was putting him through. I didn't expect uh, Ghost Rider to grab anybody. But the screensaver definitely turned the tide of that last game. Ah, uh, no, not this. Not the handgun stuff. Pop, pop. Ghost Rider is down. Everybody. Pour one out. F in the chat. Let's see if Jacob Man can do him just Nemesis, but the chances are shockingly grim. And because there is a power storm burning, push blocking is not going to save you or put any space between you and what Bane Hall has in store for you between Chun-Li's rapid kicks and air dashing and the bullets and bombs that Winter Soldier has in his arsenal. Air Super takes it. Chisei Senkyokyaku. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Bane Hollow is the first winner of the Marvelous Meetings Match Rito Rambat. Everybody it's been a pleasure. Let us go to the scoreboard. Here we go. So you saw this last time. This is from Heroes and Half Shells. You see who that in first, me in second, Mesh Carpino in first for that. But we're not here for that. We are here for Marvelous Meetings. And it's time to take a look at the current rankings now that we have had our first Rambat. It is going to be Bane Hollow with seven points. Jaco Man with five points. And Quebec with four points.